Hi, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for ConveyUX, and that's been Seattle's annual user experience conference for the past seven years, and we're doing our uh, eighth running of the event that's coming up March 3rd, 4th, and 5th in downtown Seattle. And one of the fun things I get to do is to talk with the many speakers that will be at the conference. And today I am talking with Sadak Cervantes. Hello, Sadak. How are you today? Hi, Joe. Nice to be here. Yeah, it's good to see you. We, uh, I'm actually, uh, we're having some uh, good weather in Seattle, which is the downtown headquarters office for Blink, which produces Convey UX. Um, where are you talking to us from? Uh, right now in Mexico City. Well, I know you uh, travel between uh, Mexico and the United States. Why don't you talk a little bit about the various things that you do for work? Right, so uh, I'm a designer by trade. Um, I do product design, you know, the whole cycle from ideation to implementation, uh, digital products mostly. And um, I usually go to the US uh, to uh, maybe visit uh, some clients that, that, that I have. And uh, most recently, you know, just visiting uh, uh, some uh, coworkers, uh, the office uh, of Wikimedia Foundation, which hosts uh, Wikipedia, and um, and uh, during the summer, I have a startup incubator for high school students, and we teach them how to uh, create startups and uh, create products and and launch them to market. Well, uh, yeah, let's get into uh, each of those uh, pieces that you mentioned a little bit more detail. Uh, so, first of all, Wikimedia Foundation. Why don't you talk a little bit about? what that is and the types of activities that you do for them. Sure. So Wikimedia Foundation is uh, the, um, the host of Wikipedia and all of its uh, sister projects, you know, like uh, uh, Wikimedia Commons um, and uh, Wiktionary and a lot, a lot of other uh, projects that serve the uh, internet, basically. Um, so my job at, at uh, the Wikimedia Foundation is in the fundraising part. So it's basically, I'm sure that you've seen uh, one of those banners at the top of a Wikipedia article that says, uh, hey, sorry to bother you, we, uh, could you help us uh, with $2, you know? And um, that's uh, the fundraising campaign that, that, that we do, you know, to uh, basically pay for the uh, costs of running Wikipedia because uh, Wikimedia Foundation is a nonprofit, so we are not uh, sponsored by any uh, company whatsoever. Uh, so everything that you see in uh, Wikipedia and all of its projects is really run by uh, uh, the small staff and then that takes care of the servers, the uh, content, then, then um, the uh, community is a big part, you know, because there's no Wikipedia without the editors, you know, that, that really write the articles themselves and, uh, and uh, you know, make sure that everything is correct and everything is working properly. And my job is to uh, help with those uh, fundraising banners, you know, how, uh, you know, could we design them in a way that it's not intrusive, uh, that uh, while not being not intrusive, still uh, has its purpose, you know, of, uh, generating uh, the uh, donations that help us run uh, Wikipedia and all of its sister projects. Um, and that involves, you know, design uh, research, design, you know, like the uh, visual design, the UX design, um, a lot of testing, a lot of um, uh, analytics, you know, analyzing millions and millions of data points and, uh, you know, coding as well, you know, coding the banners themselves and uh, really, making sure that the banners are a uh, uh, good experience for the donor, for the community, and, uh, and that serves, you know, that they serve the purpose of sustaining uh, Wikipedia while also informing uh, the uh, public, you know, why we need the money, uh, what's it going to be used for, and stuff like that. Well, it's a really important area because uh, obviously, uh, the things that you that uh, Wikimedia supports are a real treasure trove of information for the world. So uh, it's good to know that there's uh, strong design work going on there. And then you mentioned you're also uh, involved in an incubator in San Francisco. Is that right? 
Yeah, so for the past five years, uh, we've had a startup incubator for high school students. Uh, around 1,000 students from all around the world apply to be part of the program in San Francisco. And uh, we select around uh, 40 students and then uh, through mentorship, through activities, uh, through a lot of uh, hands-on you know, uh, experience, they learn how to uh, start a company you know, around the product, uh, usually a tech product, could be a mobile app, a web app, a hardware product even, and they, the difference here is that they uh, build the real thing and then they get real sales and real customers real revenue uh, on their uh, accounts. So we basically are like a gateway uh, for these high school students to real world entrepreneurship. Um, it's usually the, the, the first, um, you would say it's, it's the first uh, touch point they have with the tech industry. So I also take the opportunity to, you know, to teach them design as well, you know, like how to create good products, how to validate the market, um, how to you know uh, create a compelling design and engaging design so it's it's, it's really a very uh, fulfilling um, experience and what's the name of the organization uh, it's called Linga well uh, thanks for uh, letting us know about that um, we also want to talk about the session that you're going to do at the conference the title is a B testing at the scale of millions so tell us a little bit about what we can expect Right, so A-B testing is really interesting because, um, you know, one, one of the uh, capital sins of designers and project managers and product owners and all, and all the people involved in the product is that we assume uh, too much sometimes, you know. Um, so, you know, besides uh, user research and besides uh, user testing and, and all of those methodologies, a-B testing is a really uh, good platform so that you know what works, what doesn't. And it's not really just about generating more revenue or generating uh, more profit or signups or downloads or whatever. It's also about, you know, are the users having a good time? Are, are they uh, uh, achieving, you know, their goals in a shorter amount of time or, or longer maybe? So. A-B testing is really interesting because you get to see in the real world whether uh, your hypotheses are right or not. It really follows a lot of the uh, uh, scientific uh, you know, method of uh, solving problems. You, know, you, you start with a hypothesis, uh, you experiment, and then you analyze the uh, results. Um, the interesting thing about uh, Wikipedia and all of its sister projects is that if you run a test for one hour, we usually get like one million impressions, you know, like, or two million maybe. Um, and the, the scale is like massive. So you need to uh, be very careful careful with what you test, how you test it, when you test it, uh, because, you know, you have to really uh, take into account, uh, you know, the language that you're testing in, the, the, uh, the country, you know, uh, cultural, uh, differences, currencies as well, uh, colors, Co colors have different connotations, you know, uh, in different cultures. And, you know, sometimes uh, it's not just about the numbers, you know, it's, it's more about uh, the people too, you know. We've had uh, uh, designs, uh, you know, strategies that have uh, gotten more donations than than their, it, its counterpart. But we, you know, it usually comes at a cost of, um, of the user, you know, uh, not uh, having the experience that he or she expect uh, or, or having some friction in the process. So it's not really just about generating more uh, green numbers, you know. You really have to take into account the user experience. You really have to take into account how the user feels, you know. Um, it really serves no purpose if we are generating more revenue, sure, or, or more donations, if one week later we are getting like a, a lot of emails complaining about what we did, you know. Um, so it's really a, a, a balance and that's that's hopefully what, what uh, I'll be uh, 
uh, conveying to the uh, to convey X attendees. You know, it's h how we do a B testing. You know, uh, what you know things that you can learn from us about our our methodologies and really pointing out. You know, that it's not just about numbers. It's not just about changing the color here and there and see what wins. You know, it, it's there. There's more depth uh, to to an A B test. Well, I, I think it's going to be a, a great session uh, just because of the interesting place that you are with that, with the uh, uh, the international and large-scale elements of Wikimedia. So we look forward to uh, having you uh, involved in the program. And thanks for taking some time to chat with me for a few minutes, and we'll see you when you make your trip either from uh, Mexico City or San Francisco in March. Yeah, uh, very excited to be there. Thank you, Joe, for the time, and we'll uh, talk soon.